Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on Radiant Orchid. First, I'm going to prep my lips with some lip balm. Now I'm going to moisturize my skin with my favorite moisturizer, which you can find in my February favorites video. It's going to be linked down below. And I make a lot of weird faces throughout this video, so yeah, you know. Now I'm going to take this anti-aging primer, eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. Just apply that to my eyelids like normal. I'm going to take my primer and apply this to my cheeks and my nose, just where my pores are more visible. Now I'm going to take this MAC Shade Stick and apply this to my eyes for a base. I'm taking the Alice in Wonderland palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to take the Curiouser shade and a flat shader brush. Um, Curiouser is just a light lilac shade. I'll post the Radiant Orchid video of products and dupes that I have for everything down below as well. Just applying that to my eyelid. I'm going to take this MAC Mineralized Eyeshadow and Odd Couple, swirl the two colors together on a large crease brush, and apply it to my crease. It makes a really pretty plum shade, and I love it. I'm going to take the Jabberwocky shade from the Alice Wonderland palette on a pencil brush and just apply that to my outer corner. If you want to see a Sony Kashuk brush review, I'll also link that down below. I just posted it not too long ago. Now I'm just going to blend that out with the crease brush I use. I'm just going to take that purple with that pencil brush and just line my lower lash line with it. And I guess I poked myself in the eye. Nothing new. Now I'm just going to smoke it out with that crease brush again. Now I'm going to curl my lashes with my e.l.f. eyelash curler. I'm taking the Sephora Flashy Black Waterproof Liner and I'm going to do my tight line and my waterline. I really love this, uh, eyesh or this eyeliner. It's amazing. Glides right on perfectly and it's waterproof. It's great. I'm going to take the penultimate eyeliner from MAC. This is just in a Wonder Woman packaging, but they sell it regularly. I love this. It's just such a breeze to make a winged liner, and that's what I'm doing here. This looks like a big felt tip marker.
I'm taking all of this, gonna do my lashes, mascara, all that fun stuff. I took the Maybelline Falsies Mascara, or the Big Eyes Falsies Mascara. I have the review linked down below when it's up. And then I took Kiss Lashes Duo Adhesive. Now I'm taking the Naked 3 palette and the Strange color, blending out my edges. Uh, moving on to the face, Tea Tree uh, from Lush and my Sony Kashuk brush, Revlon Photo Whipped Foundation. Gonna apply that to my face and blend it with that damp brush. I am in the shade Buff. So, yeah, I love this foundation. Super full coverage, super easy to blend, stays on all day and you really don't have to set it. But if you want to, you can. Blendy, blendy, blend. If you want a foundation routine, because uh, it's up, like I've changed it a lot, let me know. But I'll post the old one down below. So many things to post. But it'll all be there, don't worry. I'm taking the CoverGirl foundation and a sponge, spraying that with the tea tree water. And I'm gonna apply this foundation underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on a little pimple I have, and around my nose as well. I kind of use this as my concealer right now because I'm running low on it, so I was like, oh, better just do this. And I am. I'm gonna blend that out with this sponge. I'm gonna spray my face with the tea tree water. Moving on to brows, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. I think this is in medium ash. I'm just gonna take the angled brush from Anastasia. Just fill in my brows. Simple as that. I'm not even gonna set them with gel. And I was talking to Gizmo, because he was crying. I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and set where I put the other foundation under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, chin, all that good stuff. I'm going to take the Elf Golden Bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit. Uh, just going to put it like so. Taking the Bare Minerals Warmth and a little contour brush, I'm just going to apply a little bit of it on the sides and then I'm going to blend it out with the brush I used for the e.l.f. bronzer. And my hair is kind of crazy in the back, if you can tell. I'm going to take the NARS Orgasm Blush and apply this to my cheeks with an angled brush. This one is from Coastal Scents. Victoria's Secret All or Nothing Highlighter. Uh, apply that where I love to apply it. Blend that out a little bit with Tokidoki Kabuki. And I'm gonna take the Lorac Lip Liner in number 18. It's just a nude, so I don't have one that matches the lipstick I'm gonna use, so I just used this. I'm gonna take the MAC Super Sheen Supreme and Asian Flower. I'm not 100% what it is, but it's an Asian flower. I don't remember what the heck the thing is because it's a long name. Just a really pretty orchid color. I'm going to top that off with the Tarte Apricot. Apricot Apricot, that's what it's called. My bad. Just a little bit for some shine and all of that. This is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, and the camera isn't super true to color, so, but, you know, you get the gist of the idea. Bye, guys.